10. Efforts are officially underway to put out the Trafalgar Road fire that's been burning in Bella Vista for almost a year. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Jennifer Peñate. KNWA's Katie Davila spoke with locals who are happy about the progress, but still question whether the area will be safe to live by. She joins us live in studio now with the latest, Katie. The Trafalgar Road fire, also known as the Stump Dump, is now on day 290. The Bella Vista POA announced its plans to take over the site from the ADEQ last week, and today the work finally began. In just two days, crews will start putting out the fire, but what happens to the hazardous waste, and when will residents finally see relief? 28 days until the Stump Dump is out for good. That's the plan, at least. According to the Bella Vista POA, it will be done by June 13th. If it speeds us up and gets this fire out quicker, uh, eases some of the suffering from the, for the residents, uh, it's a good thing. According to documents released by the POA Thursday, E3 out of Mississippi will start putting out the fire this weekend. The process includes firefighting water spray, trench burning, fire breaks, and recompacting excavated and processed materials. One thing local resident Chris Nelson is concerned about is will this process actually be safe? Private entities uh, do business a certain way, but being that this is a city problem, a state problem, an environmental problem, we hope that there's be a little bit more oversight. According to the plans, hazardous waste will be stabilized, segregated, and stored in approved transportation containers and moved to a landfill safely. Materials like asphalt, brick, concrete, ceramics, and uncontaminated soil or dirt will be reused or removed to a permitted landfill. Once all material is sorted and disposed of, the trenches will be filled with soil to prohibit the area from catching fire in the future. The transparency with the POA, uh, the information, resources on the website seem to be very valuable and they're timely. If we send in an email, usually we'll see some information about that come out within a couple of days versus silence. Nelson says he's grateful the POA stepped up and is taking care of its residents. When he thinks of what's to come, relief is the one word that comes to mind. To know that we can step out our front doors and not worry about breathing the air and uh, start to live a normal life again. The POA has warned residents that the smoke will get worse while they're trying to put the fire out. According to the plan, the site will be secured 24 hours a day to, ev to excavate the air quality on and off site. If the air quality thresholds are exceeded, smoke mitigation measures will be implemented, like using water or misting systems. For more information on the plan, head to our website, nwahomepage.com. Live in studio, Katie Davila, KNWA, Northwest Arkansas News. Katie,